Hello, everybody. Welcome to PSR Podcast, episode 14 of season two. If, I, if you heard anything just then through my mic, I apologize. There was, I forgot to mute something. Um, welcome to the podcast. So, um, while we have uh, quite a lot of great uh, PBs and other news to talk about today, uh, my name is Iron. Uh, with me are my fellow hosts, uh, Etiquette. Hello. And Jordan97. Hello. By the way, that was perfect timing with that, whatever came through then. That was brilliant. <laughs> I think I, I, yeah, cause I teed up Shiru's, uh, Shiru's run, <laughs> I forgot to do it. Uh, anyway, uh, and we also have um, a very special guest uh, this week, this time, uh, Mockwing. Hello, Mockwing. Yes, hello, Iron, Jordan, Etiquette. Hello. Yeah, so uh, we um, we have Mockwing here today because we actually have, um, we have a lot of Fire Red Leaf Green to talk about. There was uh, a lot of people popped off with PBs in the last month, so. Um, We'll get going right away with the first one of those uh, those runs, and that is Shiru's uh, new Fire Red Leaf Green 80% uh, world record. Uh, 20056 was the time, the first 20 on console. Uh, there have been two, well, prior to this run, I think there was, I'm not sure when the emula new emulator time was, spoilers, um, but this was the the second 20 on uh, of this game. Uh, there have been two two OOs on emulator as well, which is, runs a little bit faster. Uh, this uh, beat out uh, Juanli's uh, best time, uh, world record time, uh, prior to uh, this. Um, so Shear has been uh, been at the top of the leaderboards for quite some time. So it's good to see him back on top here. Uh, <clears throat> I don't recall exactly anything of note that happened here. I don't know if Mockwing wants to add anything specific. Uh, but uh, here's a, a classic bad Misty fight. <laughs> uh, this Staryu is a very, very likely to hit range uh, with Bite. Uh, it's like 93% or so. And uh, he misses the range, gets confused. It's a classic moment <laughs> in Fire Leaf Green. Uh, we'll see how his, uh, his Starmie goes here. The Starmie is actually a worse two hit range and you very often have to uh, put a tackle or a water gun second turn on that in order to uh, in order to two hit and we got we saw the crit there as well so there you go so yeah Bakwing, anything you remember about this run did you watch it uh yeah i uh joined the run i think after surge i believe uh one notable thing for sure is that uh due to all the time loss here he went for uh yolo surge cans and actually it didn't uh take him too much time but like as for the rest of the run uh, having run against it, it's it's pretty clean. Uh, there's not really uh, notable time losses, uh, as far as I know, in most of the splits. Uh, just uh, a slightly weird champ fight. Oh, and like actually, one thing of note is, I believe he gets a healist lance. Ooh, that's really good. Uh, which Let's is find out. yeah, which is always pretty nice. Yeah, when, when, when Mockley mentioned about uh, YOLO cans on Surge, usually you save after you find the first can, but um, I guess Shiru was behind enough time that he decided to just risk the uh, the second can, which can either be a 50%, a 33% chance, or a 25% chance, depending on which can it is. Yeah, let's take a look at this Lance here. Well, there's yeah, there's no a couple reason. ways to there's a couple ways to play this fight depending on your uh, special attack and how risky you want to play. Uh, but yeah, this is the uh, quote unquote risky fight. And and actually from uh, from the two bite rolls, it for sure was uh, I think probably around uh, no higher than thirteen and sixteen or twelve and sixteen to get that range with Blizzard. Because those definitely weren't the best bite rolls. Yeah, it definitely didn't look like it. Yeah, so pretty yeah, much... Really, yeah, yeah really here all that's left run. is the Aerodactyl. Yeah, the Aerodactyl is the only thing that does damage at this point. Um, on this fight. So, uh, he's in good HP here. I don't think he's dead to Hyper Beam. And I think... I'm not sure if a critical hit kills from Wing Attack, but... We'll see what, he, see what happens here. 
we got ancient power. That could be a bit scary, but he gets knocked into torrent. So even if he gets the boost, it's just time loss. Uh, he he still is able to one shot. It is a very bad range if you're not in torrent and you get the boosts. It could be quite bad. Yeah, but yeah, that's, that's like a, around a, a coin flip. Yeah. There's two things I'm noticing with this. I can see in the top right, I can see the equals three. And yes. then I also noticed, I'd like, which is fine for the end. And then also, just something that's, I guess, not really too talked about much in general, I feel like. Um, Shiru turning the plus, like, is right at the top of the PB one, got a plus 4.1, but it's changed it to yellow, like, gold splits. Just like the mentality of typically how people see red. They start getting negative about runes. Just one of those little <laughs> things I feel like. Just like changing changing the colour to trick like to trick yourself. Small little things like that. Be interesting. Yeah, I sometimes run against average splits just to make myself feel a bit better. Uh for yeah, me just um I guess yeah, this is Mockwing's runs. So you wanna talk about this? This uh, oh, okay. on the leaderboard I guess was <laughs> was listed as the world record time because Shearer took a while to submit his run, but I think you got this run after he got his, right? Yeah, I got this, I think, five days after Shiru uh, got his world record. Uh, this run was uh, pretty clean uh, for the most part throughout all the splits. The uh, big things were obviously the E4. Uh, we're watching the champ fight, but you can see Bruno, Agatha, Lance were all golds. Uh, Lance was also a healist fight. Uh, and uh, in Lorelei the moment, was healist, actually, right? no, uh, Lorelai was uh, just like an average Lorelai. Uh, oh, okay. but uh, it set me up for guard spec strats on Bruno, and uh, the RNG just lined up the rest of the way. Thanks. Uh, yeah, I I finished uh, a little more than seven seconds behind Shiru. I'm in the moment. I wasn't totally sure if doing an Atlas Champ was gonna get me world record. Uh, but looking back on it, it probably could have. But in the end, I kind of have no regrets because also in the moment I was like, okay, this run's really good. This E4 has been incredible. Am I gonna sully it by missing a Blizzard? Yeah, you're and right, I just by decided to going in. Yeah, yeah, I just decided to to take the W. That was where it was. the The huge thing that lost me time in this run for sure was uh, the self rival fight, because I ended up getting crit by the Pidgeot on the last turn of setup, and my brain broke. And, <laughs> and in order to get back into Torrent, it took me like I think twenty seconds total of just like thinking and going back between items so if I, I think it should be around 130 is what i would guess what? can we also talk about how godly that squirtle looks for oh, ID oh yeah you're better a really good squirtle absolutely you love to see that is modest nature but still it's still very good yeah. Once you're past the early game, it's it's so good for you for it. Act, it actually worked out too. Yeah, my I wasn't entirely sure uh, how to heal because I wasn't sure how much the quick attack was doing and if it could hit me back into quick attack range again. And I think soup ring was the wrong play. Almost went to potion again for some reason, but I, I bought a spare X speed when I was shopping, so I just stalled with that. But yeah, that like getting crit and making all the decisions that led to getting back into torrent probably cost me about 18 seconds at least. And after this, I was like, I, I thought this run was going to be much different than how it ended up. Uh, going into E4, I thought this was going to be around like a, a mid 201, maybe like 201 40s around there with just like an average E4. But I ended up getting uh, very lucky in E4, which is pretty uncommon in this game. I 
talking. Are you still going for the any assembled record or? Uh, no, currently no. Definitely. Uh, I've played this game a long time, and uh, I'm definitely happy with this time. It, it could have been a world record if it was five days earlier, so I'm more than happy with uh, how things ended up focusing on round two for now. Yes, yes. Yeah, because I mean, like, like I said, five days ago, this would have been world record. And it's, it's going to be, it'll be difficult to go against that, like the Elite Four splits. Oh yeah, definitely. I gotta be uh, in my head. I'm thinking I have to be ahead about half a minute at least, just for average RNG. Well, uh, congrats on that time, though. Yeah, very good. Thank you. Yes. All right, if you're not sick of Fire Leaf Green yet, we still have more to come. So this is the uh, emulator world record by Cooker. So Cooker initially had the uh, the fastest time on emulator with the 2.055. He beat that by about 16 seconds, looks like. Yep. Um, I didn't really <clears throat> know too much about this run until I saw the, the, uh, the obligatory uh, splits <laughs> screenshot. Uh, so I didn't really watch much of this, if any. Um, do you remember anything about this run, Mockwing? Uh, well, Cooker's definitely a fantastic runner. His splits after Surge were all really clean. Literally, it was this fight was the only thing that I noticed that went super terribly during the run. Uh, but uh, he's so he's comparing against target splits, uh, and that's because his PB run is really, really good up to Surge. It's a forty-two Surge uh oh and, right yeah yeah so it, it can be really intimidating to go up against but uh cooker got nowhere near a 42 surge on this run but was just able to uh play so cleanly the decision making and the execution wise he made up all the time that he had lost on the previous pb yeah that's not i mean that's doesn't seem like the greatest squirtle as well compared to especially compared to what you had yeah but this is I, this was definitely the, the weakest squirtle out of uh the three that we've seen so far the the three hp iv oh yeah so actually uh gunner's done commentary on uh cooker's run and like over the course of the commentary like at several different points during the run uh, because of the HP IV, Cougar ends up like just uh, a couple HP points shy of Torrent for important fights all the time, all throughout the run, which is why yeah, it's your, so good to have a, a high forward. one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Cougar actually has a, has a decent history of taking. Uh, not good to terrible squirtles and uh turning them into winners yeah, i guess I old, like... gotten... oh, sorry go oh i was gonna say i think he's even gotten like a 16 speed squirtle to the e4 before which is um, like a miracle uh you don't see many people running that speed <laughs> yeah Ultimately, every Squirtle or any Pokemon's runnable until the run's over. Whether that be through bad RNG or through just getting to the end of the run. As long as like, you get the right, the right look in your favor sometimes, that's all that's needed. Yeah, exactly. The most important thing is whether your Squirtle can hit Mega Kicks. Yeah, the Luck IV. <laughs> <laughs> or the Mega yes. Kick IV. Accuracy IV, yeah. <laughs> One more fire leaf green that run though. Yeah, <laughs> there was a lot this month. Yeah, this is the last one. This is the the for the only round two record or time we have to show here, uh, and it's not record. It's it's the second place time from Shiru. So Shiru really uh, went all in this month uh, on fire leaf green. Uh, this run, I don't know too much. Too, I don't know too much about this one either. But it's always always a fun watch for the viewers because of the catches and whatnot. I do know that the best time by Poke Guy, uh, there I think I believe the emulator record is faster as well in round two. Uh, the 
Pokegeist time is extremely good. Uh, about 328. But uh, Shiru is only about a minute or minute and change off of that, so very, very close. This run was uh, really good. Shiru's been getting on a lot of really good round two paces lately. Uh, this one had a really good E4 enter time. I believe it was a 239, which was ahead of Pokeguy going in. Uh, but I just remember the he lost a lot of time in the rocket warehouse he had a really bad first admin fight oh those that... fights are really bad yeah yeah the the those warehouse fights can be pretty terrible uh just like depending on the strategies you go for but just also like luck wise because you can get hit with rock tombs you can get status uh you you bring a lumberry for safety going in but sometimes it you don't even get to bring it to the admin fight because you lose it on a Hypno, the fight before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shiro also has the best reactions. Yeah, I was I was gonna say I don't I am pretty sure it's not <laughs> this run, but wasn't there like a clip of him fairly recently? Whereas in, is in the Savari and he's going like no bing yeah. bong or something, and then just <laughs> as he is about to tell the person like the bing bong goes off and he gets kicked out. Screams. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah, that's such a good clip. I I don't know if it was that. Yeah, I don't know if it was him, but I remember seeing a clip of like the guy was like, the runner was like right in front of the guy. <laughs> yeah, I know he. She isn't the only runner that's happened to, but no runner has reacted like him. <laughs> Do. Oh, I just think he surfs there. I guess he. I guess he just didn't need any more encounters, so he didn't want to go around on the grass. Okay. Yeah, there's there's no audio coming through onto stream or maybe not because it's all muted. But I believe when I was like finding this clip, I think he said, oh, like he was cheering. I was saying that he actually I think when his that the reaction was him saying that he didn't need any more catches. And that might be why he was. That was what the reaction was for, I believe. Oh, okay. Because he crit that Hypno normally. I think you catch that if you can, right? Yeah, exactly. You, you try and catch it if you was... can. Where's the, where's the catch rate for Hypno? I feel like that'd be awful. But... Uh, with Surf, you can usually put it to uh, at, at worst a 50-50 usually, uh, but it can be as high as uh, 62 or I think just as high as 62. Let me double check that. You don't, have, which, yeah. you don't have quick balls in this game, which would make this a million <laughs> times better. Yeah, if there was more ball variety, that would be amazing. Uh, but Imagine ultra you had, like, balls work balls. fine so for the most part. On average, at least. But in practice, maybe not so much. Yeah, it's almost always at least a 50%, sometimes a 62%. Okay. Yeah, box management looks really tricky to get good at because you're just oh, knowing yeah. where everything is. Yeah. Exactly, because the the position of your Pokemon are going to be different every run that you do, because you're not going to see the same Pokemon or in the same order at least. It's definitely a fun category to watch and to run. Absolutely. I guess depend, depend, depending on depending on how serious you are about getting a good time, it could be probably triggering to run. But definitely, definitely fun if you're kind of just trying to have fun and not trying not serious about getting a good time. It's a good it's a good yeah. category to race too as well. We've done a few races of that. Obviously, you're speed running the game, but I feel like it's. It's a good run where you get to see like so much of the game and you get to do so much in the game. I feel like you like the experience is a little more complete than doing a regular any percent run. A little bit more rewarding. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, also I did want to mention, because people have been talking about it, just the progression of Fire Red Leaf Green any percent. 
over the past like year, year and a half, two years. Uh, I only started speedrunning two years ago, and at that time, world record was 203.23. And now, including emulator times, the top 15 times, uh, 15th place is 203.03. Jeez, that's on console, right? Or is uh, that yeah, that that's Kurt's run, but it, it's fifteenth if you include uh, Cooker and An Ananon's times uh, as well. I think on console, fifteenth goes to Sparkle. Then I, I think it'd be Exarion would be in fifteenth place. I'll imagine Xarian in, in 15th. That's pretty wild. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. That was a former world record time. Yeah, that's true. It was. It's on to, on to the games that I know now. <laughs> hmm. I, I say know games I know. It's just the this one This person game. looks familiar. <laughs> <laughs> You know this run very well, so why don't you take this one? Uh, yeah, this was uh, oh, kind of world record. Not is weird. To, world record on SRC um, for the one point two plus in the sort of percent four eight sixteen by myself. This was my first run back after like two and a half weeks of not running it. I was busy making a spreadsheet, um, but. Basically, this fight, <laughs> this fight, I I got ratioed so hard, like, Clefairy, like the Clefairy just like on the turn one metronome, uh, it got light screen, which, as a special attacker, that is not pleasant. It's not pleasant to deal with. I had no idea what to deal with, like, because who gets light screened? Like, no one gets light screened except me apparently. So, yeah, Wait, this I, has happened to you before. <laughs> no, like, if if this had happened anyone before i'd feel sorry for them and then, but yeah basically it this is normally the it's like a four turn fight i guess it would be and i don't know how long this was this like an eight turn fight and i had to use rain dance twice twice yeah yeah just because again because it's like a high like heavily sunny route um so you're, again you're a water starter using water moves mm. it'll cause issues uh like reduced by half okay, sure, right there. Okay, you might have to clarify that one for me. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it should cut it in half. Yeah. And then I cycle into the hill side because I didn't see it, but I saw the Pokemon that was further up there. So, again, it's just. Oh, it was... and then you hit something. <laughs> yeah, this is this is an old route. really bad for, uh, for your encounters, too. It's so yeah. Bad, yeah. I, I was very tempted to just reset because I, I, I have very high standards. <laughs> I realized I it wouldn't be not it wouldn't have been right to, and that's why I kept going. Um, but there's a this is like there's a lot of like suspect movement moments in this run. I think is it this point? I all. I wasn't even thinking of this bit, but uh, seeing the pony because you're meant to catch them on this route, so end up cycling around the pony a bit. Um, to catch this, we catch this just to save. <laughs> I don't know how much it exactly saves, but it, it allows us to not have to withdraw two Litwicks, which level up a lot, and it's very tedious. Um, yeah. But the thing that's more suspect is this moment, where I'm thinking, I, I was going to cycle, then I like carried it out, because I was going to oh get... Oh my. Yeah, it's not good, and it's just there's the Rufflet chasing me as well, I just had to go then. <laughs> I... Wow. <okay>. What? <laughs> it was... This is, like, again, two, two and a half weeks off... It just to ruin the game in general. I hadn't reached this part probably in like two months. Um, yeah, it's just, it was not great. It was not great at all. But it it got it got a good time. The like the actual fights themselves were very fortunate, and that's probably what kept me in this. Um, but it didn't matter ultimately because four hours later, <laughs> Ringo came in <laughs> and got a four oh six oh two. Which um, I don't think he'll I don't think he'll submit this because I feel like he would have submitted this by now because I think he submitted a run that we'll show later on. Um, but this 
was pretty much like the only really bad bit in the run. Uh, he takes a really risky strat uh, in against Artist Duncan using Hurricane, which is a fifty percent chance to hit in Sun. I think it's fifty yes. percent. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a lot lower. Yeah. Yeah, and he misses twice. So this was like a lot of the time loss. Uh, the Japanese runners, um, as all. Pretty much every run, I think, at this point, aside from me, um, runs Candy Floss now. It's much more consistent, to, especially to get top times. It's probably even quicker overall, but um, except maybe with the best of luck with Sobble. But yeah, this is kind of like really, really the only issue about the entire run from what I noticed. Um, he does have a, yeah. a 405 15, which you can, he's actually comparing against. But I don't know what the specific reason why that's not being it's, allowed. Let's say, it's, let's say no turbo, but I don't know if that. If you got the oh, five, but... yeah. So I get, I guess a bit of behind the scenes uh, from the time. Uh, we weren't sure if he, if he was using turbo with the other run. So, but I mean, he's got the hand cam there. He's. He's mashing like a like a Madden. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the first time I've seen that hurricane strat on on coughing. Normally I think you two two hit it with like energy ball or something. Yeah, I think it's something like that. Oh, well, like, well actually uh, oh, I mean I think it's the same in shield. So if you could say I'll actually just go back to that same fight. Yeah, it, sh it should be the same. Um but this is Yugi Sai with the uh, Shield 1.2 plus any percent Japanese world record, a 4.10.11. Um, I believe this is actually quicker than the... It's double moon blast, yeah. Yeah, double moon blast. But I believe this is quicker than the pre-1.2 world record for Shield on Japanese. Um, interestingly enough, I actually tried looking for it. Uh, it never had a video. That was just like accepted on the Japanese one uh, leaderboards, um, like on their own, like the the Japanese wiki or something like that. Yep. Yeah. Um, but for whatever reason, the video's not no, oh, the registered time is not there anymore. So I can't actually confirm if this was quicker or not. But either way, it's a very quick run and a very like decently executed run um, and a much cleaner Duncan fight. I think as well, if there was anything else in particular. Shield Candy Floss is slower than, I would say it's definitely slower than a a good, like, a good to, yeah, I'd say at least a good Arcanine next to Jolrin. Um, mm -hmm. It doesn't have as much benefit as you would, uh, as you would have on Sword compared to Intellion. I do find it mad though that, like, so, one interesting like thing with Candy Floss, you lose time going into battle. Uh, yeah, it's like one second every down, time. Right? Yeah, lose like a, a full, like a, pretty much like a full second every time. Which is another reason you should all run Sobble. <laughs> <laughs> I will push my Sobble agenda, I guess. Um, there is because there's actually there's about as much uh, Soul Shield stuff as was Fire Red Leaf Green this month. It was. Very crazy months for those two games in particular. Uh, it's Ringo again though, with uh, Sword 80% with DLC, Japanese world record, a 355-38. I believe this is for some, like, it was for some sort of competition of some sort. Um, yeah, I, I couldn't, I didn't really follow it just because like, uh, I could only do as much as Twitter Translate would tell me. Yeah. <laughs> um. But yeah, it seemed like there was a some sort of competition where people were grinding runs um, of all sorts of games, not just Pokemon. And uh, Ringo put up a bunch of times, and this is, I think, the best one. But he had plenty of sub four times with a lot of random mm. mains. Like Starmie is widely considered one of the best. I don't think it's the best um, main that you can get from the Dynamax Adventures. But like, I think even this morning uh, there was a. Ringo put up like a 357 with Toxtricity. So really? it's, uh, wow. yeah, something like that. It was, um, I forget exactly what it was. Yeah, yeah. 357 with Toxtricity this morning. Um, the other day there was a 400 with Swampert. Like it's, 
a ton of completed runs like that. Yeah, one thing in particular as well with this Starmie, it so with the Dynamax Adventures, like there's different like level or I don't know what the right term would be. Uh, tier? Oh tier. no. No, I, I'm talking like as you like the actual thing yeah. itself, where you've got like the different, you got to go through uh, them. Different rounds. Different rounds. There, that, that, that's yeah. a much better word. Uh, there's different rounds. This Starmie was from the first round, which is as quick as you can get. Like you just quickly, like you defeat the Starmie. And then you try and lose in the the second round. But... Is that normally what you guys do? Is try to just get it first round or second, or is it? Yeah, uh, over, like, <laughs> ending really late sometimes. You kind of have to deal with like whatever the game gives you, um, and it's generally better to take something okay from the first round than something good from the third round. Um, first or second round is usually what I would consider viable like you can use any of them but um really if you're, if you're grinding for a pb yeah exactly who has the ditto any percent with dlc world record oh god i don't know <laughs> <laughs> i'm almost certain no one has run ditto which makes you me sad you can find you can find ditto in there i didn't know that uh yeah i believe it's an imposter ditto i think is the is huh. what you get given. That might be wrong, to be fair. But I believe there is a ditto at the very least, because I'm pretty sure I've used it, like, just cut out, like, when I've done Dynamax Adventures with friends. Oh, yeah. I want to try this category sometime. I've never really given this category a chance. Uh, I tried it when it first came out. I'm very bad at improvising. I like it. I like my notes. I like following the like following notes on the route. Uh, anything that involves Are there notes thinking. For a lot of these, though, anyway? yeah, there is a lot. Uh, yeah, there is a lot now. Mostly done by like, aspect. I feel like Green's probably done yeah. a fair few as well. Um, probably other people as well that I can't think of off the top of my head, which I apologize. Um, and it should be a lot better to do them now. Um, but yeah, it's just at the time there wasn't any because it was like the second day. Fair uh, enough, yeah. Probably some of the more obscure Pokemons are probably not routed, because... <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I think, because, like, there is actually, there's, like, a considered tier list, which is, it's very loose, I guess, because you can't really fully tier them. Um, but there, there is, like, a certain, like, tier list of sorts. I think, knowing Aspect, there's probably a fair few from B upwards uh, that have been, uh, that have been rooted. Mm-hmm. You can get a crocodile. That's the best one, though, I believe, from what I've heard. Crocodile, oh. yeah, seems to be the best. Crocodile's a pretty sick one. Anything that can hit two Pokemon at once is very good. Like yeah, the other, the other thing with crocodile, yeah. <laughs> yeah, crocodile has earthquake, and then it also has thrash, which is nice. Like we, you almost never run into PP issues in this game, just because you get free heals everywhere. Um. But Thrash is nice because you save the little bit of time from like selecting the move on the second turn. Mm -hmm. So, like that, anything with like uh, Thrash or like Dragonite has Outrage is really good for stuff like that. Yeah, Dragonite is actually one of the top, isn't it? As well, that's what my PB is with. Yeah. What is your PB? It's like a yeah. four oh three. Okay. Um, should be a lot faster. That run, I. Uh... <laughs> I forgot to withdraw after the oh. Hammerlock Death Warp, so I lost like a minute and a half or more to having to die and then go all the way back. Blame it all on Route 6. Yeah, exactly. I'll actually let you take this one as well. I, this, uh, I don't know how familiar you are with it. Um. Yeah, so I, I didn't get a chance to watch this particular run, um, but this is Halkiri, uh getting a 345-42. Um, notable for a couple of reasons. Uh, first is this broke, I think, the longest standing record for Legends Arceus so far. Um, it beat Shady Gamers uh, for, or 346 that I think we talked about last month. Um, and... This was also the result of a pretty long grind from Halkery. Um, Halk was kind of stuck around like the 354 range um, and then slowly crept his way down to 350. And then in a matter of like a week, broke the 350 barrier and then broke uh, the record as well. So 
Um, really cool stuff here. It's also the first time in the game's history. I mean, history. It's three months, four months. Um, uh, that months. the same the same person has the any percent record and the catch em all record. So uh, Halkiri has like a nine, just over nine hours in catch em all. Um, so yeah, really solid run. Um, this is basically like probably the one major issue with it. Um, there aren't too many fights in the game that you have to do. And this was just one, um, forgot to heal the Bibberol going into it, uh, which caused some issues, but, um, but yeah, I, I think, I, I know Hulk's been pushing for sub nine in catch em all. So I don't know how much, uh, he's going to be putting into any percent, but, uh, really good to see him back on top. Indeed. Indeed. Going on to Pokemon XE, there's actually a couple of Pokemon XE runs, which is quite surprising. Both of them by Ryzen. This first one, though, is XE any percent, second place, a 42624. This is using the HP or the Hidden Power Psychic route, um, which up until this point, it's it was believed it was quicker, but there wasn't like the proof fully there yet. But there was some optimization uh, from Ryzen. Which is like really good with the XD and the Colo, like these games in particular. Um, but yeah, this now relies on a 1 in 8 chance of getting a runnable Teddy Ursa, down from 1 in 4, what it used to be, I believe. Mm -hmm. So, Teddy Minute cannot come sooner. <laughs> um, please, Capital, please. Um, Ava in the chat, it's miserable, <laughs> I believe. Yeah, Ava in particular. Uh, I believe she, I don't know how what, is, what the current number is up to, but it was 1 out of 31. I might be wrong. Ava, you can correct me. Um, but I believe that was the case. But I think with the, uh, like, back to this run, I believe time loss from train, oh, tail whip strats just failing during this fight, and then the last couple of fights with Lugia, uh, Lugia and evil uh the i said i was about to say big evil bad guy he's very he's actually very small um but yeah they, they, which are like they're not they're very difficult i don't know if luke is actually i guess the luke is difficult uh but grievel is a very difficult fight in particular uh you're relying actually can just go to the end you're kind of relying on executor playing nice I believe, I believe that is the case, because uh, it can, it can, like the executor, executor can just destroy you. So, uh, so for this, this, these new strats, it's hidden power, psychic instead of electric. Yes, yeah. and uh, then also Teddy Ursa's stats are more restricted now. Yes. Um, oh, so both of those. It is, yeah, it's it's both of those. So with like hit, with hidden power electric, I believe this fight's much better. Because, I mean, all like, because Grievel has the three legendary birds. And they're what you're trying to get rid of during the time. And there might be... I, I, I probably should have just had Ava <laughs> like, come on for this bit, to be fair. But uh, it's basically, it's a lot easier with Hidden Power Electric for the end, like for this fight, uh, compared to Hidden Power Psychic. It's, it's actually really funny now that I think about it. Because we're going for Hidden Power Psychic, and that's Espeon's type. Yeah. So normally yeah. normally you get Hidden Power that's of a type that you need sort of for coverage, right? This is kind of interesting. It's the same type as Espeon. Yeah, it seems to be it mostly like um, Just turning... Yeah, like turning moves... So turning ranges... Or not ranges. Turning damage rolls for things like Confusion and Psybeam... Um, just having a, a 70 base power move instead of the 60 or 50 power um, just makes it better for that part until you actually get Psychic later on. So um, oh, I guess okay. it, it introduces a lot more, like uh, a few ranges that are worse to miss, like time-wise, um, than the old Hidden Power Electric route, but uh, it has the potential to save a lot more time. So uh, it ends up being worth you know, doubling up on the hidden power stab move. <laughs> That's really interesting. Yeah. yeah. And the other notable thing about this is um, 
this is one of the first like changes at the top of the XD leaderboard in like actually years. Um, if you look at the if you look at the board, the top five has um, like Damon got a PB back in in March and Ryzakin here in May. Um, but other than that, you look at the top of the board and it's just like all of these times are from you know two or three years ago. Um, so it's it's fun to see new life brought into the game. Yeah, actually, just very looking quickly at eighth, uh, Bodo as well, with two days ago. Oh wow, yeah. If you get a bit of life back into the game, which is great. Love XD. It's a great game. Very long run, but it's a great game. Yeah. Uh, but we're not done with XD yet because there is also Rescom with the Battle CD RTA all 50 CDs world record, a 218.36. How familiar are you just with XD in general? Just I'm not ask. at all. You're not at all? Not at all either. <laughs> not at all. Alright, so the battle CDs are like they're all like the, there's fifty of them hidden around like the world. Either you can buy them or they're, they're hidden. There's items on the floor. And they're basically just like little battle simulations where you're given like a a task that you gotta do like within a certain amount of turns. So like this first one is uh, the metronome CD where you've got to defeat a matchup in the Geo Dude, but all the Pokemon only have metronome. So you just gotta try and defeat you gotta try and defeat them. It's just like little like little things like that. There's another one where you have to like um you have to survive, I believe, for a few turns. Some of the there's a lot more like traditional ones where you just gotta beat Pokemon within a certain amount of time like a certain amount of turns. It's just a really interesting concept uh, overall. But uh, Ryzkin, I believe, had the previous world record with the 223.34. And it's like the all. Either it was the world record, or it was like. It was the world record before it got beaten by someone else, and then he's talking about. It. Either way. Um, and it's, time, it's like the first PB that he's gotten in four years after like leaving the category a while ago. I took the world record back from Frodo. Frodo is Frodo's going hard on this game. <laughs> Which is cool. Um so yeah, I can just I don't know too much about the specific run in general. Uh but it's just like it's a cool thing to know. It's been like four years since Rescan's got on a PB and then it's come back in. And I think he mentions that it could go down to like a, a two fifteen. Like a sub 215 time. So there's still room for improvement as well. Nice. Oh, yeah. The the reason as well why I highlighted um, the Metronome fight in particular. Not only is it the first fight, uh, he got Perish Song. So you gotta wait through all the animations for Perish Song. And then at the end of every turn, the Perish Song countdown uh, for every single Pokemon done individually. Absolutely brutal to sit through. <laughs> You can't turn off animations in this game. So, moving on though, uh, to PMD, uh, Rescue Team DX, 80% no one's mail world record by secure account, a 243.59. I can't remember if this was, well, uh, uh, their previous record was on the last month or a couple of months ago, but secure accounts been focusing on this a lot. Uh, recently, it was um, taken directly from Secure Account's YouTube description. It was a poor beginning, but the run got good starting in Sinister Woods. Uh, it exited the canyon at 57.32. I assume that is very good. Uh, fugitive section was alright, and then got a double chest note, which made the pace amazing. But then these last two dungeons in the Sky Tower uh, section were pretty bad but not enough to kill the deep in the room and there is one more from the side game section which is Pokemon Ranger 100% a Japanese world record by Midori Kaze uh, Japanese for Pokemon Ranger is the more dominant uh, it's like the, the, the more popular version um, I think it's only recently since maybe last six months maybe a year where 
English actually got a leaderboard. It just only used to be the Japanese, although they were combined, I guess. Um, this is their first run of the category and they got world record. I believe uh, Midori Kaze does have the any percent world record. Um, but other than some difficulty against Rayquaza and then with Kecleon in the Grassland Capture Challenge, um, there's like a couple of uh, Pokemon that they forgot with uh, Kangaskhan and Meowth. But aside from that, it was like a very solid run uh, overall. That was the best I could really get from uh, translating Japanese <laughs> uh, with like Google Translate. It's not the easiest, <laughs> let me tell you. Um, onto the fan games though, Iron. I know you're not too familiar with Pokéclicker, but you are the fan game person. Yeah, um, I you're right. I have no clue uh, about <laughs> Pokemon Flicker. I know. Um, I'm throwing you into this. I do. I, I apologize. But yeah, we we highlighted it a lot last month. Yeah. Um, we had um, Kaguya Nikki or Kayuga Nikki. I can't remember how to pronounce their name, but uh, would, um, yeah. they, they 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 went through this pretty well um, last month. So for a lot of people who don't reckon, aren't familiar with the game, that's kind of it was kind of cool to, to learn a bit more. About yeah. this, this is the tutorial normal normal codeless. Um, it's the shorter category. Uh, I know that for a fact. And uh, there's a number of codes as well. I think that uh, help a lot. And so there's a separate category for codeless. So yeah, that is the run. That is the entire run. <laughs> oh, that's I... 39 seconds. Okay. Yeah. yeah. 39 seconds. Uh, I thought it was 39 minutes for a second there, but yeah. Okay. Uh, 39.023. Uh, apparently uses scroll wheel clicking. That was like the only only note that was left. Uh, then there is also Sean H. Crossley here with Pokemon Kanto Champion also clickable world record. He's 16 minute 47.724. Um, catches Mew. Uh, it, like it's already happened at this point, but it catches Mew very early on which i don't know what the spawn chance is for mew but once it does i believe it's very low and then at that point it's just, it was i think it said it was a 16 percent chance to catch so that seems very fortunate that it's happened and I, like having a mew no i think there's a pokemon is there a pokemon requirement i think there is <laughs> But either way, just getting a Mew in general, it'll boost up your Pokemon attack, I assume, a considerable amount as you level up. Uh, or as, as it levels up. But yeah. That is all for the noted runs for this month. I think maybe I'll try doing a couple of runs of this just so I can talk about it in the future. <laughs> is it, like, is, it seems like it's just, like, all these stuff like Kanto Champion Emma, especially tutorial. In like very like the very quick runs that you can do like you're not gonna be having to set out, like set out a chunk of time or like a considerable chunk of time to uh, do attempts but yeah going on to the marathon runs that have been uh this was springtide storm educated you were actually involved in this i was yeah what, um what was your highlights yeah, no, the, the marathon was really cool. It was like a hybrid in person um, at Corvamay's residence and um, online marathon. I participated online, uh, but you can see um, Ava, Sparkle, and New Amber there in the camera. Um, it, was a, it was a really cool marathon. It was uh, two days, um, all Pokemon runs. And I, I personally did a Legends Arceus run. Um, I was one of the, I think I was the first remote run. So there were a lot of technical issues during my run, but they, they got squared away. Um, but yeah, it was a really cool event. Yeah. Wasn't it something like Edgy's laptop or something had been streaming for like 60 odd oh, hours. Man. Yeah. <laughs> so, so we were trying to stream to an RTMP server and, um, eventually like maybe 10 minutes into my run, we had to switch me over to use my Twitch channel and then maybe an hour later they realized that 
Echi's laptop had been streaming to the RTMP server for like 60 hours, so it was just destroying the bandwidth. Um, so I think everything was, or at least the the streaming part of it was fine after that. Um, but yeah, it was uh, it was pretty funny. Yeah, tech's hard. Tech stuff is hard, especially when oh, it's stuff that you would never, you'd never think of that off the top of your head. But, yeah, absolutely. Uh, talking about the runs in particular, because. Uh, with it being a Pokemon Marathon, there's a lot. Um, there was like there was Explorers of Sky, uh, Erica's Arceus run. Uh, there was Pokemon Pearl. There was two Aura runs, which one of them is also here. Uh, this is Trick House percent, which I believe was this either. I don't know if this was the first ever run of it. I don't know if it's a category extension or not, but it's definitely something I've not seen from a marathon. Mm-hmm. It's like just a very interesting concept for everyone. Also shorter than any percent, so good for marathons, at least in terms of scheduling them. Uh, there was Colosseum, XD, Pokemon Sword, Crystal, uh, Synco Bingo specifically, and then a Let's Go Pikachu Eevee race. Yes, it was Pikachu Eevee. It was Pikachu vs Eevee. Um, if you actually want to check out all the different ones. Not going to show them because it, we would be here for a very long time going through them. Um, there is the YouTube channel where all the runs are being uploaded to. Uh, there's also some uh, in between run reels, I guess is how you would say. Yep. There's some very good ones in there, which I would recommend you all checking out. Um, going to the next marathon though, uh, Running Knights. This was Jim B with uh, Arceus Amson. From what I could gather, it was actually a German marathon. Even though like all the stuff's in English, from what I can see. Uh, like all the like the description stuff was in German, which I didn't know that at the time. Um, there was, I think. I don't know too much about this run, unfortunately. I didn't catch the, the run live. But. Oh, yeah, just seeing all the things in German. Um, yeah, so yeah, it was a German marathon that happened around like the back end of May. There's also Odyssey Duju video. I'm sorry about the French. Uh, Odyssey Deju video 2022. Uh, this is Etienne versus Bill Bonsai, uh, with red aim percent glitchless, no instant text race. Uh, the VARs unfortunately doesn't exist anymore, but there was this clip of Bill Bonsai getting uh, bullied from full health by Ghastly, um, all the way down to zero health. Getting constantly confused, Ray, and oh, then. No. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> you have to hit like four rock slides in yeah. the entire run, and. Missing them can suck. Getting paralyzed as well. Ugh. It's... It's unfortunate. It's a very marathon thing to happen, I feel like, as well. But yeah, that was very unfortunate. And then, last but not least, there was Launch Party 2022. Um, this is Quo with the Stadium Petite Cup. Uh, this is like Speed Docs, I believe, right? Yes. Yeah, Speed, uh, Speed Docs. Was there. Assuming the launch party was there, one of the new videos. I don't actually know what it was, though. Actually, Mike, was it like. I think it was like Jack. A Jack Any Percent History, maybe, or something like that. Or that might be a past yeah. one. Something like that. Either way, um, there was a marathon uh, for it though, and quote was there. <laughs> but yeah, that is all the past marathons. There's the little spoiler for what will be coming up after this section, which is the upcoming marathons. That should not be in there. <laughs> First marathon coming up is Power Pride 2022. Uh, there's Kaiya Nikki with Poker Clicker Kanto Champion Auto Clicker. And then also Kaiyu Nikki with Lucky Starscream, uh, with uh, Legends Arceus Beat Cleaver. They are the two opening runs for that marathon. 
When is the PSR? Uh, marathon quality? Well, I don't know yet. <laughs> uh, that is that is for the scheduling team to decide once that has been made. Mm -hmm. um, there is also Meme RTA Marathon 2, um, which I only guess is a Japanese marathon. Uh, on the 11th, there is kicking off the marathon once again, uh, Ino Ino with BDSP Reverse Badge Order. Uh, that is on the 11th of June at 4 in the morning. I also didn't say actually for the Power Pride runs. Um, 10th of June at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. And then right after that is the Legends Arceus B Cleaver run or race. Um, but then back to Meme RTA Marathon 2. The last run for the marathon is also the Pokemon run. Um, Buster Poke with Heart... Heart Gold Soul Silver, uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver, any percent glitchless synth challenges, what it translated to. I don't know what that could actually be, but it's something to do with any percent glitchless. <laughs> it might just, might be a specific Pokemon. Not too sure what synth would be though. If anyone happens to have a clue. <laughs> um, I'll see if I can figure it out. Fair enough. Uh, in the meantime, though, uh, next marathon, Hero's Journey RPG Marathon. Um, Diego, oh, Diego Armando 1879 with Crystal Full Item Rando. That is on the 11th of June at 10 past 9 in the morning. These are all UK time, by the way. Uh, after that, there is quite a fair few Pokemon runs in really, really their choice. Um, for the, I can't remember the word, um, basically America, <laughs> America called in a few more issues. This is a very bad way of explaining it. I just can't think of the right word off the top of my head. Yeah, abortion rates. Thank you. <laughs> I couldn't think of the word abortion. Um, but yeah, the abortion the rates. <laughs> I'm not yeah. even American. Uh, I'm British, uh, but yeah, uh, abortion rights uh, being heavily restricted in America at the moment. So uh, I don't know what the specific uh, charity this is for, but it's a charity that will help to um, fight the, the women's rights, basically to allow abortion, allow to keep abortion. Mm -hmm. uh, so for the actual marathon runs themselves, though. Um, RDA with Rumble Complete the Game No Passwords on the 14th of June at uh, just after quarter to eight in the evening. Um, on the 16th of June, there is uh, Run Flag on Corvey May and SWC19 uh, with Poke Clicker Co op uh, 151 Pokemon Auto Clicker with codes. Uh, that is at two in the morning on the 16th. Um, or uh, on the 17th of June at quarter to seven, there is no squared with BSP any percent. Uh, on the 18th of June, there is Halfrey with Legends Arceus any percent. Um, that is, yeah, 18th of June at 25 to eight in the evening. Uh, like I said, there's a lot. <laughs> uh, on the 19th of June, at just before 6 in the evening, there is Thomas Patrick WX uh, running Let's Go EV AOP. Uh, on the 20th of June, at just after 20 past midnight, there is Corvin May with Aura's Trade Up Main Bid War. Uh, well, Bid War, I don't actually, I believe one of them is Sylveon, I don't know what the other Pokemon is. Um, and then finally, to round it off for Pokemon, there is Dasvero with Colosseum any percent. Uh, that is also on the 20th of June at just before 2 p.m. in the afternoon. Uh, next up, Bingo Thon Summer 2022. It's going to be a, it's going to be busy next uh, next month with the marathon runs section. Uh, only the one bingo run, uh, or what the one bingo run. Give me my tea. On the 19th of June at quarter past 12, there is Rob the Gamer uh, with Crystal Full Item Rando, uh, Triple Bingo or Quad Bingo if time allows for it. 
probably the biggest marathon next month. I think that's fairly safe to say. Mm -hmm. uh, on the I games done quick. Uh, summer games done quick. Twenty twenty two. On the twenty seventh of June, uh, just before twenty past two in the morning. Uh, Quo with Snap 250k points as a bonus game, so that will have to be unlocked. Unlocked. Uh, we'll go with unlocked. Uh, then going down to the 29th uh, at just uh, oh, at around 20 past 8 in the evening, there is Kizaron. 36 Prism, Shen and Adef with Emerald Evolution Chaos Co-op Rando. Then going down to the first, a potential back-to-back. Ezekiel, -back. Mm -hmm. um, this is you. This <laughs> is, is me. Is you with BDSP any percent glitchless and then potentially BDSP any percent. Yep. You feel prepared? Um, I will be. You will be. I will be. I, I did a I did an any percent run earlier today, and I like forgot how to do everything. But oh no, <laughs> it's it's like a fifteen minute run, so it'll it comes back to you quick. <laughs> it'll be yeah, it'll be fine. Um, and they'll be starting, well, they'll be starting effectively from uh, ten to four in the afternoon, and we'll carry on from that moment because it's back to back. And then finally, because. Uh, the podcast will be a bit later. So normally this would have been in next month's podcast. Uh, but instead we are bringing it to this one because it will have happened by then. On the 9th of July, there is Finrun's Summer 2022. Uh, Coblemo with TCG 80% uh, glitchless. That'll be at, 10, oh, at 5 past 10 in the morning. And then on the same day, there is... Coyview Clappy <laughs> with Red Glitchless Classic and that'll be at 25 to 11 in the evening. And that is all the marathon runs. Uh, some things to mention quickly before we go on to the leaderboard roundup. Uh, actually, Aaron, I'll let you take this because you're... Or Mac Wink if you want to mention this as well. The Fire Red Leaf Green Tournament. Yes, yeah, so there's uh, yeah. a... I set that up for both of you to fight, but I apologize. <laughs> oh, good. Iron, you go ahead. I, yeah, I can, I can kind of start it off. So, yeah, we had a tournament. Uh, second one, uh, we had one last year. It went really well. This year was uh, just as successful. Um, lots of really good talent uh, in the in the tournament this year. Uh, the tournament finished up, just I think, just after the last podcast, if I recall correctly. Um, and the final was really, really exciting. Um, we had um, Ananan win the tournament um, using a strategy that not many people use, which involved fighting Surge late um, for safety. So Surge is one of the reset, most reset heavy points in the any percent speed run. Um, and he just executed that extremely well and uh, was very consistent throughout and uh, got in a really solid time. In fact, it was the, ended up being the fastest tournament time in the final. Uh, and he is, he was on emulator too, but we, we didn't, uh, really, we actually did account for emulator, uh, in the tournament by, uh, giving a 25 second penalty to all emulator runners. So what ended up happening is all the emulator runners started 25 seconds late. Um, so, uh, it was more or less accurate. Uh, it's, it's obviously not perfect a way to do it, but, uh, it's, uh, it was good enough for the tournament. So, uh. Congrats to Anana. We also had Main uh, in second place in the final and Poka Guy uh, in third. So, uh, really solid uh, tournament uh, time there. Uh, tournament race, I should say. I don't remember exactly what happened in the in that race, Mockwing. I don't know if you remember anything. I don't remember it was. I remember the end was really exciting, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Exactly so, uh, if I recall correctly, I believe Anana and Poka Guy were having a, a really, really strong race. Uh, and main was trailing about a minute uh, or a little over a minute behind. And uh, Poke Guy and Anon both got to Bruno, and Poke Guy ended up getting, I think, crit yeah, twice. Yeah. And yeah, uh, wiped to Bruno. Uh, ended up finishing 
just since it, it was the final, but obviously got sent back to the Pokemon Center and had to refight Lorelai and go back to Bruno because he didn't bother to save. Uh, which, I mean, so when you're in the final and you're in the E4, I, at this point, I would agree with a move like not saving. It just doesn't make sense if you're trying to play for the win anyway. Oh, okay, save for Lorelei, but not Bruno. Yeah. Having to redo the Lorelei fight is not ideal. It's at, <laughs> it's a two and a half minute loss. Not to mention the time spent on Bruno. Yeah, exactly. It was it was honestly a really really close race up to that point. Yeah, because last year's final was there was quite a large spread between all the runners. This 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 tournament, we had a lot more close races than yeah. uh, than last year, and the talent level was just so much higher too. It was very challenging for some people who made it to the third round last year, like myself, really struggled to to put up good times and uh quite a few runners good runners got knocked out early so it was a it was a really great tournament for uh to see yeah, the talent awesome. in, the, in the community yeah yeah congrats to kid rocker and anyone else who helped with organizing that it was it was a it was a good uh, tournament to, to watch from a distance Uh, we, have, we have one. We have one more thing, I guess. Etika will probably can probably talk yeah, about this. Yeah, Etika would be best to talk about this. I would say. Um. Yeah. So uh, over on the 3DS side of things, um, we just started. Uh, actually, on June 1st, so a couple days ago, we started a competition for the 3DS games. So the four 3DS main series games: um, X, Y, Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, Sun and Moon, and then Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. Um. And basically, the challenge is going to be uh, to see who can put up the best combined time across all four games. Um, and basically, the times have to be achieved between June 1st. Um, and uh, I don't remember the exact date, but basically when Scarlet Violet come out um, in the in November. Um, so there's there's plenty of time if you don't know. Um, if you don't know one or two of the games, or really if you don't know any of the games, you can still, you have plenty of time to learn them and participate. Um, there is a prize pool. Um, the Currently the prize pool is sitting around $350. Um, and there is an amount going to first, second, and third place, as well as the best time for each of the individual games. Um, other than that, um, there are no emulator runs just because we didn't we don't have a great way to um like the the emulator difference for gen 6 and 7 is pretty big um and there's really no good way for us to to like you know tell which run is better um especially when we're adding up four different times uh so no emulator runs but we we do encourage if you don't have a 3ds capture card you can play on a 3ds um and you can do you know, like a webcam footage, um, like that's perfectly accessible or acceptable. Um, and then, yeah, other than that, um, if you are interested, definitely be sure to join the 3DS Discord. Uh, there is a role I believe you have to have in order to see the channels for the competition. Um, but yeah, it's, it's open to anybody, uh, anybody who wants to jump in and compete. Um, even if you don't want to necessarily do all four games, you can still you know go for like the best sun and moon time um and maybe win that prize so uh definitely definitely recommend it indeed indeed yeah so uh with that all done onto the leaderboard roundup as always if you notice anything that's like stands out go ahead and mention it <laughs> Actually, um, Runechan DX in fourth with a one hour fifty eight forty four time in any percent glitchless uh, classic Japanese, which is there any percent glitchless, I believe, right? Yes. Yes. So, uh, congrats there. 
Malva in 11th with 80% no save for eruption, uh, 11.58. Malva in New Runner, I feel like, or someone who's like maybe come back recently. I don't, I don't recognize the name, that's, that's all. <laughs> Yeah, definitely a new name. Uh, I'm. I know they started posting a, uh, about a couple of months ago in the Gen One Three Three Discord, uh, but they've been making progress. Great to see. And then also tenth for Malva with a one twenty four point two seven seven. Pokemon Yellow third place for uh, Maddict with an any percent glitches classic time of 205.26. Finally in 6th with a any percent glitchless time of 201.20 in Sapphire. Uh, yeah, Wanli is going to, he says he's going to continue to try to push for the sub 2 in that, so hopefully we'll see that next month. Hopefully so. I already mentioned Shiru and Mackwing, but the Math Genius in 6th with a 201.54, Truly in 11th with a 202.20, and then Wave in 12th with a 202.55. 202 not even being yeah. top 10. One, one thing yeah, to note about crazy. Math Genius's run is he could use 20 speed on his Squirtle, which is almost unheard of. Oh. Uh, especially among top runners. I think, what's the what do we recommend normally, Mockwing? It's like 21 or better? Yeah, so normally uh, you would just take 21 or higher, but if you were shooting for a time that was like 201 or better, uh, it'd be reasonable enough to restrict the speed to like 25, 26, all the way up to even like 28 speed. Unless you're the math genius, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not needed. Not needed indeed. Math genius in third as well with a three, a uh, three thirty oh eight, just a few seconds behind Chiru. Yeah, those apparently, two runs were very, very close. Apparently, Magnemite does not count for three pokes. Good to know for what the future. What the story behind that is? <laughs> yeah, I've not got a clue. Magnazone is not in Gen 3. I don't think that was the reason. That would that would make sense. He might he might have thought it was a trade or something. Hmm. Kurt in tenth with a two thirty three fifty four in Emerald, and then Vincento with a two thirty seven eleven as well. Keeping uh keeping uh, uh keeping it icy. With the emulator world record a 234.53. Fifth place for Devin Kennedy, a 103.55 in Diamond Pearl any percent. English on emulator. And then second place on emulator for Line was here with a 253.10. Uh, Tokula Rat uh, with the Heart Gold Soul Silver, uh, any percent, like, uh, any percent on DS slash 3 yes English time a two fourteen sixteen apparently manipulous makes that uh, even more interesting I guess. Yeah, I think for manipulous that should be second place I think overall. I assume it, I assume it's probably a cat extension, right? Yes, I yeah. think. Yeah, I we'll, think we'll see think it. We'll find out exactly what position it is in the moment then. Yeah. But I think we'll see. Yeah, we should see the um, the Manipulus leaderboard. I think we'll see. I think Worcester got the record recently. Uh, Could be wrong though. Yeah, you know who else got record recently? Devin Kennedy in any percent on emulator a two thirty nine twenty seven. Uh, uh, Naomi plays with black white any percent uh, 327.43 uh, Tucker again on black 2 white 2 uh, with a fourth place time of 312.50 Snow flinched EB clinched 
okay. Ninth place for Effective Ashes at 31503. Ultrain Gamer in XY, 16th with a 353.22. Primal Pizza in 19th with a 354.54. Uh, Classical Cat in 25th with a 403.59. Ultrain Gamer again with oh, oh, Omega Ruby, a 258.18. Uh, first sub 3 for him. Uh, Zypotic in 21st with a 304.40. Drank Fancy with Aim Percent Alpha Sapphire, 19th with a 313.01. That shows the difference between Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire a bit. Yeah. Latias bad. <laughs> Latias bad indeed. Um, Go run with the Elite 4 Round 2 Omega Ruby. Uh, MU slash NTR world record a 430.29. Fourth Gen Gamer with Sun Moon 80% emulator, second place with a 503.15. Uh, Kick and Run in 11th with 80% no mount skips, uh, Pikachu a 306.31. Aspect in fifth with a 409.39 in Sword Aim Scent. Um, 1.2 plus. I believe that's a candy floss run. I don't think Aspect runs double. Uh, Bouncy in 11th with a 420.41 on Shield. Uh, Yuki Sai with the 409.23 on Sword Japanese. And then closely behind, a Pierjo with a 409.56. A Pierjo with a second place time uh, for any percent with DLC Sword English with a 402.36. Uh, again, closely behind in fifth, you see the shoe with a 403.21. And then 12th, Water with a 409.22. Um, 80% with DLC Shield World Record from Yugi Sai, a 40246. 80% Glitchless Shining Pearl, Japanese No Turbo, 4th place for Green Gutti, with a 34529. Etiquette in 3rd with a Turbo Shining Pearl, 33437. Was yep. that. Without music? That is with music. With music. Um, and not loss. that it's, <laughs> yeah, not that it's competitive, but I believe that is the best non-music time, um, turbo or non-turbo. Congratulations. Well, thank you. Uh, it has a bunch of optionals. You can get like a 330, um, or probably even lower with music. It's just, I'm doing my GDQ prep with music on because that's what I'll be doing in the marathon. So makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Have you done any runs with a mask on whilst commentating? Yeah, I have not. Um, and the biggest concern I have, I don't, I don't mind wearing the mask. The problem I have is how the hell am I going to take a drink during my four hour run? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, because usually, you know, in, in a Pokemon run, you can like use the the quick time of like, oh, the move has happened so there's like a little even though animations are off there's like a little bit of an animation so you can take a quick sip of your drink or like during a loading screen but if i need both hands to do it i, I don't know exactly how this is gonna work we're gonna figure it out though need a straw yeah i think yeah un unironically i think that's the answer <laughs> yeah that is like, probably the answer yeah <laughs> uh Liz arceus that's hulk's all time uh, but in third place, Evil Beef with a 35331, even though I believe they've PB's uh, with like a sub 350, right? Like today. I believe so. Or something. Yeah. Congrats see. to them. Yep, 348. T Pat in eighth with the 40949. That's probably physical world record. Yes, I believe so. Um. 80% Japanese no turbo uh, Kitamura with a 352.22 and then in catch them all uh, with no turbo Blood Dirk with an 11.26.30 uh, 
Uh, day in two, Worcester with complete the game world record 1928-59. Worcester complete the game in Stadium 2. Yep. 1928. Yeah. Um, I don't even know how you complete the game in Stadium 2. Because I've never played it. But I I mean, for it to be a 19 hour run. it got to be a fair bit you got to do, I imagine. Yeah, it's like all the cups, I think. I'm not too familiar with it. Mm -hmm. Pokemon Coliseum. Uh, any percent, 21st for Dastro with a 344.51 and then 2nd place for Emulator with a 346.11. I'm going to guess that they moved over to console based on the run dates. Uh, briefly mentioned it earlier but Fodo in 8th with the 430.34. Like is that? Back. Okay. I didn't know that regions had flags on SLC. Ah, oh, that. Actually, no, yeah, they do not. I, was, I, I didn't realize they actually showed them. I just thought they would default to the country. But fair enough. Um, second place for uh, Eponymous with the 525.15 in Mystery Dungeon Explorers of. Time or Darkness, one of them. Uh, any percent no wonder mail English DS slash 3DS. Uh, Explores the Sky, second place for SBD Wolf, a 504.46 in any percent wonder mail. In Super Mystery Dungeon, third place for Cabral, a 525 flat in any percent wonder mail new 3DS slash NTR. Only 15 seconds behind the world record, that's very. Very close up there. Oak Park Week, Glen Jamming in fifth with the old friend oh in old friends English slash PAL version. Uh with a six fifty-eight fifty-five. Oaken Tournament DX, ninth place for Dancon Switch, a nineteen oh nine point seven nine. Third place in any percent no safe corruption for Devin Kennedy uh, and 856 in Pokemon Blue Kaizo. I'll go click it once again. There is a million world records. Um, <laughs> tutorial normal codeless, that's the one we already mentioned. Um, clickless codes, uh, a 335.974 for Shine Spray for your one. For normal codes for Kanto Champion, Surfer Otzel with a 36.15. Um, and then many more by Shine Sprite and Thunder Wizards combined. <laughs> for co op uh, two players in the tutorial categories. Pokemon Renegade Platinum, any percent 30 FPS grabs with the. 331, 28, and 80%, and then 60 FPS is a 232.33. Yeah, so if anyone's interested in what that ha it's a difficulty hack for Platinum, and I believe the route is you get an in game trade Chatot and just steamroll with that, and then Prabs just did runs with the uh, glitched category. Nice. That's what this is, so. Well, I am. By Redly Freem Plus, Alt Main Pokes Primate. How was it? Uh, it's a pretty good Pokemon for for this. Uh, <laughs> I've been kind of messing around with a lot of different Alt Mains for uh, for this game. Kind of went a bit crazy. I've I've done about twelve different Alt Mains with this. And there's a couple, there's another one that I've routed that I haven't done yet. I don't know if I'm going to do it anytime soon. But yeah, it's just works really well for the for the run. It's really strong on really fast. Got good attack. So, uh, yeah, pretty good Pokemon. Great. Yeah, it's about uh, it's about eight minutes behind the uh, the fastest uh, main, which is Squirtle. So. Oh yeah, that's not bad at all. 
especially if uh, a Pokemon you wouldn't necessarily think call for a speedrun. I don't. I do feel. Yeah, there actually are there actually are some uh, runs of the and the Fire Leaf Green leaderboard uh, for the alt mains with uh, with Mankey. Juan Lee put some time into that. We've a few other people have done runs too, but if it was going to be anyone, <laughs> it would be him. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Pokemon Blaze Black Two Volt White Two Redux. Uh, perhaps with the aim percent world record a five fifty six eighteen. Yeah, okay. this one's really interesting. Okay. This one's sorry, this one's really interesting because it's um, there's a game called Blaze Black Two Volt White Two done by uh, Driano, and I think someone else made tried to make a difficulty hack of Black Two White Two, and they ended up collaborating with Driano on this. So it's a slightly different name, and this one's really interesting. I didn't really follow too much of the routing, but Prabs and Head Bob worked on the road for this, and it actually uses Flareon as the main, which is very cool. Interesting. But Flareon. unfortunately, I don't know too much more about the run itself, so... Yeah. <laughs> Flareon is not the a Pokemon you expect to be in a, uh, like a lead in a run, at least I would think anyway. Apparently OBS crashed during Reversal Mountain, though. So. Shout out to OBS. Pocket Crystal League. Spirit Advice. Uh, with a 231.59 and 80%. Yeah, this one, this one's an interesting game. It's kind of like trading card game, but it's a fan game. And it's... I don't even know how it works, but it's kind of it's got a trading card game kind of style to it. Um, it's, it's a downloadable Windows program. And uh, it recently came out not too long ago, and... And Spirit Vice uh, started running it. There's been like a bunch of different new patches. We we made a new leaderboard thinking it was the last patch, and then a new one came out, and then he they improved their time by like 30 minutes. <laughs> the new patch. So. All right. Hopefully, uh, ho hopefully those new updates slow down a bit now. But it's a pretty cool game. I haven't actually looked too deep into it. But it's not your typical Pokemon game for sure. Fair enough. Um, apparently just for plays back to. Or Y2 Redux. For the flare on this, what the special attack and speed. It's apparently really based. Because, yeah, oh. Flareon's normally pretty slow, right? So having it have good speed would be really good. <laughs> That's obviously important for speedruns. Red, blue, Calgary extensions. 18 for Etienne. With a. Uh, 15456 and 80% glitchless, no instant text. And then just behind, Syndicate SH with a 15507. Many, many custom starters. Um, custom starter Magic Art, Pink Panther is 61244. Fair play. Fair wow. play with that. World record in soft lock percent in Pokemon Ruby Sapphire Calgary Extensions, a 134.33 by Wolf Gaming 2203. Head Bob in fifth with uh, Fire Red Leaf Green. I was assuming that's any percent Manipolis with a 219.14. The Fable PB technically manipulous. All right. <laughs> yeah, if it if it was a Clefable category, that's the current world record right now. Uh, cool. Head Bob went through and kind of like uh, took a relook at the Clefairy route for alt mains and has been doing runs. And honestly, it's looking like not just entertaining, but like a really well put together route. There, we even had a, a Clefairy race in the Fire Red Leaf Green race Discord not too long ago. That was something else. Yeah. <laughs> it's well, a, it's a pretty anyone, interesting trick wants, to yeah. get the Clefairy, yeah. Yeah, if anyone's interested, that's a really fun run. Definitely recommend checking it out. It is manipulous, so you don't need to do the, the starter manip. Um, getting the Clefairy can be a bit of a problem. And, uh, and yeah, it's actually the third fastest main in Fire Leaf Green behind 
Blastoise and Charizard right now. So I think it, I think it beats out Bulbasaur. I know, yeah, I'm pretty Bulbasaur. sure the fastest Bulbasaur <laughs> time is uh, is still the two twenties. So. Oh Bulbasaur. Well, there is the old main Pokes Club Fable leaderboard though. First for Head Bob with a two nineteen <laughs> fourteen. Second for Pickle with a two twenty two thirty five. And then Iron in third with the, the 258.34. It seems like you had a bit of a rough time. Yeah, that uh, that start was uh, was pretty crazy. I died to rival oh, yeah. one. Ooh. And then my first encounter on route one was a level five Pidgey, and then I died to that. Oh. <laughs> it was so bad. It was a great highlight, but... And then, like, everything else just went so badly up until getting Clefairy. I think my Misty time was almost an hour. Worth noting that LNM will likely have a record within the week. Then we will see that next month. That that will be the that's gonna be expected of you now, LNM. We believe. Uh, Pokemon Diamond Pearl Calgary Extensions, Manipulus Glitchless, uh Joylin with the 4-14-39. Um, Glitch Elite 4 Round 2, World Record by perhaps a 3-33-21 in Platinum. Um, Worcester with the Manipulus Any% Percent Hard Gold Soul Silver World Record, a 2-12-33. Uh, took it in 3rd with the 2-14-16. So is that the one that was mentioned further up? Or... Yes, uh, yeah. the Tucker Run guys. Yeah. yeah. Those crispy turn frames, though. Uh, the Lion Films in ninth with a two twenty thirty four. And Devin Kennedy once again with a two thirty nine twenty seven. Busy month for Devin. <laughs> Omega Chad with the Alt Main Post Fire oh, for Ralligator World Record a four forty six fourteen. I have to respect the name. And a shiny leaf crown glitched. Devin Kennedy once again with the 245.17 world record. Black White, uh, Zypotic with the Manipulous uh, world record, a 328.38. Couple of trade all main world records for perhaps. That's impassable record. Saying, this would be very good. <laughs> I don't. What's the normal run time? I believe. I'm not sure if for trade out mains you start. I think you start when you get your main. Your or when you. Yeah, I, I assume it will so do. You do lose a bit of time off the beginning. Yeah, like you do in Sword and Shield. Yeah, the like black white time is about three ten, three eleven. So, uh, cuts off a decent chunk, it looks like, or it's just that much faster. Yeah. Omega Chad with the Batman Fast World Record, a 5 hour 55 second run. Second place in Manipulus Black 2 White 2 for Yoshida Shu, a 40805 RCA Hackathon run. When was May 7th? May 7th was Saturday, wasn't it? It was that, that was the podcast day, wasn't it, I think? For me. Yes, that's what it looks like. Alright, that might have just be okay good. I don't I, I didn't miss that one, I'm gonna say. Um RS trade on main Sylveon, first place for cover mate at 247.39. And then second for water with a 255.55. Fourth place for Let's Go Ditch Bill Labo, 35-41. Once again, many trade alt mains for Sword Shield. A uh, few world records for Morgrim. Scyther with a 340-902, that's solid time. Not bad, yeah. Scyther's pretty good because I think it's Technician. So like, uh, when oh yeah. Goes in, yeah. Yeah, yeah like the BDSP, yeah. Oh, interesting alt route. Believe right? 
Yep. <laughs> um, second on here, but I believe Spider actually has a world record that's, I guess, not yep. been verified or submitted yet. Uh, Tower of Two Fists don't get us through a... The world record now is... Is it 114.25 or 114.20? I think it's 114.20. My time was a one. Like yeah, mine was a twenty-five. So, yeah. Mine was the twenty-five, right? Uh, and then a few dying max adventure runs. One for three player and two for four player. Seemingly involving like four tab flippers and Uber Mage. And then a couple of people uh, a couple of different people for the four player version. Um you know, you know, it's been busy with the category extensions for BDSP. Glitched all badges, uh, 5803. Uh, reverse badge order, 10236. Um, second place for Inno Inno with a 10744, but first place in reverse badge order in Japanese for Yoshida Shu, a 10706. And then another 35 second. Uh, I, actually, I don't know if that is another one. Because it's Japanese, but 35 second fresh percent world record for Yoshida Shu. Ray147 with the Boss Rush world record and 11.34 for Legends Arceus. Alkari with the Beat Cleaver world record, a 55.20. Boston Gamer with Alt Pass, 3 passes. Cindy, Daisy, and Natalie. Uh, EBR or Pokemon Battle Revolution world record a 442.17 and then the hot new Pokemon Coliseum category a uh, Ditch Rui uh, capital with the world record a 625 Randall in second with a 647 and then Splendid in world record for console an 845 I, do you know, like, I, actually, I, got, I just got to show it, because I've actually not seen the run yet, but Ditch Rui, you have a character constantly following you, the character's annoying, uh, let's just get the, the, the character, but basically the aim is to get, like, the second character stuck, and then get off screen, or, like, get it so you've ran away and Rui is off screen. That's been done really quickly though. That <laughs> alright, cool. There we go. <laughs> that was much quick like that was a much uh quicker way than I would have thought to do that. But yeah, that that's the entire point of the category. Rui just constantly <laughs> gets in your way. So That's pretty funny. <laughs> Also, actually, got a shout out Alt Mains for uh, Bayleaf slash Espeon Helio Knight with a 358.17. Bayleaf is an interesting starter choice for Coliseum, as in everything goes against it. <laughs> but yeah, that is the leaderboard roundup for the month. Uh, last things to mention before we end. I'm going to quickly grab this link. But the uh, PSR Marathon. Uh, the volunteer form is still open. It will close on the 8th of June. Uh, when it turns to midnight then. So. Uh, I try to think East Coast. That will be 9 p.m. on the 7th of June. Oh, uh, what did I mess up with this? <laughs> I just copied the link. Uh, let me try this link. That might hopefully work better. Does that work better, Head Bob? Or anyone? Works for me. The second one does. It might be okay. It, it might be a bit different for you because you you should have direct access for editing, potentially. But anyway, if it works ahead, Bob, yeah, go to that second one. That's better. 
Uh, that one works. Um, yeah, so midnight on the 8th in the UK, uh, 9 p.m. on the 7th uh, of June in the on the east coast of the US. Anywhere else, please figure it out uh, for yourself. Actually, I'll give West, West Coast as well. It'll be six, right? Yes. Okay. Um, that is that. The next podcast will be on the 9th of June, not the 2nd of, uh, 2nd of June. July, because, July. July, July, yes, <laughs> July. God, I, it's just I, uh, months. <laughs> months or something. Um, not doing it on the 2nd because we're either at GDQ or not at gdq but not in not at home i guess yeah we would have to do like yeah. a full host replacement for the month so we're just gonna push it out one week and yep yeah, so i will quickly type out damn it i got it wrong again <laughs> podcast guests macwing go follow macwing thank you for coming on uh, do appreciate yeah, of course, it. no problem. Thank you for having me on. And then also, podcast hosts. I remember the S on the end. Uh, go follow Educate Iron and myself. Follow Educate Iron; they're probably more important to follow. Um, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, any any of the last things to mention or think of, or that you can think of? I can't think of anything. All right. They were good. All right. Yep. In that case, I hope everyone has a good resty day or evening wherever you are. Stay safe. Take care. And goodbye. Bye, everyone. Bye. So long. <laughs>